What's the deal, people? It's your boy Nigel Byam, and this is another episode of Inside TV, and we are in the beautiful island of Grenada. And I'm here with one of the most talented individuals in Grenada here, you know, in the groovy, in the power. He's been doing his thing for years and knocking on the door. So my brother, yeah, man, well, thank you for coming on. Yeah, man, we go you know what I mean? Go. So Tell the people exactly who you are and what you do exactly. Well, I am. Sh my name is Showing Paul, aka Waki Dan. Waki Dan. You used to right. go by the name of Mr. Waki. Mr. Waki, okay. Yeah, that everybody knows me as Mr. Waki from the from the years back. Right, right, right. So, but, question is, first question. Yeah. Where the name came from? <laughs> the name came from my my, my 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 village. Okay. Yeah. I used to be dancing like in my younger days, ah. and what happened is that I fell. <laughs> and while I fell dancing in the night, I fell and I bounced over my eyes wow. because the style I was going to do was to pass my, hand, my, my foot into my next foot to right. fall back on the ground. <laughs> got you, got you. Foot. And then I ended up falling. So um, the guy was like, what? Mr. Waki? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then one time, one time, name the stick. name stick with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Mr. Waki? Why? Because Mr. Waki origina originated from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. the dancer. From the dancer in Jamaica. Right, right, so then, right. You know, back in the days, they would just name you from anything that happened. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's how the name come by. And it just stick with the people and it just stick with me for a while. I love that. But then coming down into the, the international base now because I travel, right. you know, I do sports, I sing. Right, right. Back in the days, I pay for a band and everything. Right, right, right. And then it's coming down now, I say, boy, now is the time to change it because I acknowledge that. Some of the musicians, them, the singers, them using the Mr. Waki name mm, in videos, okay. and they're thinking that Mr. Waki did it. Right. So now, right, I, right. when I saw it, I was like, whoa. I, I, it was not a good feeling, so I decided I had to change it to something. That's But right. at least keep the Waki, yeah. so that the people could still remember the Waki well, you, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Well, I, I love that, because yeah. that, that's important, because you know what yeah. I mean? We, we all know with internet and algorithms yeah. and how that operates, yes, so you understand? Yeah. Yeah, you man. understand that level. So, let's talk about, you talk about history right now we are in St. David yeah right um, we are on a basketball court yes man tell me because in Grenada here with Inside TV I decided to let the individuals choose yeah. what the area they want to be interviewed at so tell me why you chose this area specifically specifically I chose this area because this is an encouragement to the youth them to make them know that there is a basketball court here first of <laughs> That's all one. I love yeah. that. <laughs> and then I play basketball as well mm -hmm. like Whenever I travel, come back, I'll still be here coming on the court. Love that. Make love time that. for sports because I love sports. Right. And in my village, you use them always see me as a very athletic person mm -hmm. and they look up to me as a, a motivator, inspiration. Love that. To them. And that's why I keep going at it even as growing. You know yeah. what I mean? I and love that. I love the fact yeah. that, you know, it's inspiring to the youth yeah. and different. It's like a bigger mission, bigger mission than just definitely. yourself, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so man. tell me a little bit about you and sports, your sports history, what you well, did, you know? <laughs> well, my sports history goes a long way. Yeah. I, can speak, I can speak history about my sports. Well, I started off going to school in St. Um, Wesley College. Okay. And then I got transferred from Wesley College to SECSS, which is St. Davis Catholic Secondary. Right, right. That's the school where I spent most of my years in. And I started representing for Grenada in CARICOM countries, you know, wow. St. Vincent, Dominica, Barbados. I have titles in, um, in Dominica and I won enough titles in St. Vincent. And I've been representing for my country, Grenada, in long distance. I've That's been a long amazing. distance athlete from since the age of, I can remember the age of nine running from in, in, in primary school. Wow, wow. From That's since cross country. That's big. And then in my later years coming up, I've become one of the best long distance athletes that Grenada could have ever had, you know what I mean? Because so, we're not really known for, yeah, for too much of the long, long, long distance. distance. Yeah, we're more known for track. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah but yeah, the long yeah. distance lead me along a long way on my journey. Yeah, it helped me to experience new places, meet new people. Love that, but love that. It was never my passion, my mm, passion. Okay, okay. It was something that I liked. My mother really liked it. Yeah. And she she's always encouraged me, the villages encouraged me. They used to be like, fuck boy. One run, half marathon coming up, they're making sure they make me know right, right, that right. the half marathon is there, you know? <laughs> so, it's, yeah man, it's been a lot, so I've been doing very good for Grenada. I have Love enough that. titles. I had even friends like Rian Radix used to be going with me in um, 
Dominica, Kenesha Pascal, she's one of Grenada's best again. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the Caribbean's best for women long distance running, and you know, it's right, come right, women. Right, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, I man. love the fact that you know, yeah, your athletic background and you know, yeah, I was a professional basketball that's player. Nice I represent man. Grenada as well. Nice man. So nice it was. It's good to see a fellow athlete, you know yeah, what I mean? True, it's good true, to see that. True, true. So let's jump into the music now. Um, you know, you've been doing your thing for a number of years. How much years have you been in the music industry? This guy, I would say, let's say 10 years. 10 years, 10, 10 years, years in the music industry. Yeah. So, you know, if you had to choose, because we have two different sectors in Grenada here, where yeah. it's the power and then groovy. Uh -huh. If you had to choose, what would you personally choose? Personally? <laughs> I choose music. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean? I love that. Love I that. Music. I, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an artist who don't. I don't limit myself in no field. Mm. I'm very versatile. I don't limit myself in no field because music. I come from a musical background, mm -hmm. and it started from my family. You know, men like Mr. West, mm -hmm. um, Evans Williams, Roger Williams. All of them, my father's side, are musicians. Right. You right. know, and it goes along with. But in, with that said, groovy. I love groovy music because I love to sing. Okay. I okay. love to entertain, I love to perform. Right. And with groovy music, I could be able to sing, entertain and perform at the same time. But okay. soca now is more hype. Yeah. It's more a wild thing. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so the people them love the fact that I, I can sing groovy and make them feel a vibe. The guys are vibes. Man. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> when I'm on a stage, singing groovy is all about vibes. vibes right. And I love the topics I use, you always catch it to mm -hmm, the people mm -hmm. and relatable to the people. Mm -hmm. I won't say every song, but most of my songs them yeah. can get to the people them as soon as they hear. I love that. So groovy is one of my favorite spots and I love the power because I love hype too. Yeah, yeah, the vibes. I'm, not, I'm not the hypest, high, hypest man. But Whenever you see me in a party and I say, well, yes, I come to enjoy myself today, Bam. I'm going to be high, man. I love power. Yeah, I man. love so that. That's don't forget, big. expect the best, the best from both, both, both areas. areas. Right, so. right. So this year, um, what's your selection? Um, do you plan on actually going into power and groovy as well? Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm planning to go in both competition again. That's like good. over four years now, I've been into the, well, four or five years. Over five years now, I've been practically getting into the finals every year mm -hmm. and then well from since 2022 yeah from since 2022 I've been making the groovy okay. and the year 2022 I came with a song named Heartbreak yeah that song had led Grenada to understand who really recognized <laughs> Mr. Waki exactly time. that's true you know yeah, and yeah. that song had got to the people hearts yeah and I really loved it and that year they said I was supposed to win, but you know I don't focus on anything. Yeah, I focus yeah, on yeah, moving yeah, yeah, yeah. forward. You know what I mean? Doing your thing. Yeah. So that from that year into the next year, last year again, I came into the um, the groovy again where I came fifth. Mm -hmm. So the, in 2022 I came second, mm -hmm. and the year 2023 I came fifth. Right, right, right. And the song name was This Carnival. Yeah. And people had loved this tune. No, I love that tune. That tune. Big up to Pecklin yeah. and Peck Jones for under the production. Pecklin actually up. wrote the song. Okay. And I just, you know, when I sing it over, I just put it to my way. Yeah, vibes. My vibes. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah, yeah. big up them both on yeah. this one here. That's and amazing. This year now, this I have year. a new song which I'll be taking part into Groovy again. Okay. Which is in my in my business. In my business. So this one is relatable to me, you and the associates. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because why? It's a song called In My Business, why? Because so many these days so many people are up into the, your business more than theirs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that is so and talk anything, sometimes they find like you, you've been done and now life starts blooming. Yeah. And they just find like, nah, this man doing too much now. He he too much, he feel like he in thing. And this is what they wanted from a long time. So yeah. why when you get into yourself into it now, they have a problem. They have a problem. So, basically, I sing a song about that. I love that. I love that. Hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so just moving forward now, right? Um, what's some advice? Because you've been in the business for 10 years now, right? Yeah. And you know, we all know the music industry has its ups, has its downs. Yes, yeah. You know, what's something you would tell your younger self that's coming in that was first coming into the music industry mm -hmm. now with all your knowledge that you have yeah, now yeah. what would you tell your younger self well i would tell the younger self that you know like to be honest when you start like focus on what you really want to achieve mm. because being in, in the music industry is a journey it's not just something you see about money just about money because if you go to think about the money alone you're going to feel like you're ready to get big now you feel like now is the time for you to start making money and trust me you will just stop it because 
music is a journey and i will tell you to be honest to just focus on what you have to do make it a passion and just make it something you feel like it's just something you could just come and make a money from right 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 yes it is a business but still make it something that you really love, love that. like it gets yeah. you further into the future's endeavors you know I what i mean that. so um that. and stick to it because it's a practice consistency consistency, consistency is the key. Key. exactly yeah. so what would you you know moving forward you know what can you see yourself doing in the next five years in the next five years really and truly more business into the music mm -hmm. like i want to start achieving things maybe start doing more producing Mm -hmm. recording learning more about the music world and find more people out there to help boost my you know for the business part of it love that and i really want to get a good life out of this right so it's not just coming here and just singing for a passion just okay yeah it's like singing for a passion now and just feeling like i just want to sing you know, this is a business now because i have family you know and I'm, take care of that yeah. the passion should help me to make money to feed my family i love that love so that. moving forward in the next five years I would like to see my, my life blooming better, mm -hmm. taking me from places where I am now to different places for a better man. Love that, love yeah. that. So, I want to just thank you personally for coming on Inside TV, you know what I mean? Before we leave, I want you to shout out whoever you have to shout out. Mm -hmm. And also, tell the people where they can find you, because I know there's going to be tons of people interested in your music worldwide now. So, yeah. tell the people. Yeah, man. Well, they well, you know, I just want to shout out my Grenada Massive. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm yeah. from Cozy up right here. Yeah. You know, yeah. big up to my Sunshit Massive, St. David's Massive. Mm -hmm. I also want to big up my St. Andrew's Massive as well because over the years they've been supporting me fully and never left them out in my big up. You know what I mean? So that. big up. Love that. Big up my BVI Massive because I used to be in the BVI as well. Okay. Big up okay. all the people that support me over there. I have my son over there. Right, you know right. What I mean? Also, my England Massive. English. Big up to my England Massive. Yeah, yeah. I have people from all over the world. Big <laughs> Worldwide. Every, big up everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. But most importantly, I just want to big up my mother, you know what I mean, for believing me as a son, you know, and she goes along with me every year love in that. competitions and stuff like that as an artist. Love that. And you know, big up to all the people encouraging me. Yeah, love yeah, that, love so. that. And where they can find you on all social media handles, let them people know exactly what your social media handles are. Yeah, so, they so can come and find basically you. most of my music right now is on spot who which has, is on spotify mm -hmm. on itunes and stuff some of them going to be still be registered as mr Waki. right but after a while it will change right mm -hmm. trying to get into a different copyright and stuff like that yeah but you can go on youtube type in walkie dan you can find me on youtube TikTok walkie dan you know facebook walkie dan you know what i mean um yeah twitter walkie dan yeah and just go listen to my music share it to the people make the people them know the artists from grenada who is representing fully yeah, whether yeah, yeah, here yeah. or overseas you know what i mean yeah, yeah and just go and listen to music share it up don't forget to comment and share and share to your friends you know what i mean love that, love that. but yeah. i, I want to thank you so much for coming yeah, on man. this is this is big because i like i, I always enjoy your music you understand yeah, man, because you. of the passion that you sing with yeah, you understand what i'm yeah. saying so i said when i come to grenada i have to come and do an interview with this Definitely. man because he <laughs> He definitely embodies a lot, and I just, I, you know, Thank just you. the fact that your messages in your in your song is always relatable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, the one this year, yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people can yeah. relate to that one for yeah. sure. Yeah. So I, I just want to thank you so much for coming on Inside TV. You know what I mean? And yeah, thank you. And you know, I, I I'm just wishing you all the best because you know. A fellow sport athlete, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, we both represent Grenada and them kind of thing there. But also the fact that you know you're doing it for the youths, and that's yes. something I'm I'm huge on. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because we, we all know at the end of the day, our time will be done. Right, and they, them next. Exactly. So you have to make way for them. Exactly. Yeah, so important. I love I love the fact that you have that mindset, yes. and um, you're gonna be moving forward. So yeah, thank you once so again, my brother. Thank you on your team appreciate for having that. me today. Appreciate and big up that. To the people I'm watching. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Continue supporting. Because it's a big movement and yeah. support the movement, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Walk it down, leave out. Big up to everybody watching. Inside TV people, we are out. Nigel Bayam, walk it down. Yeah, man. One love, y'all. Peace out. Peace.